people who are very successful make decisions based on whether or not things are important, not whether or not they're urgent. Hello everyone, I'm in the Badlands of Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta, Canada. So I have a question for you. How do you decide what you're going to do during the day? Do you decide based on importance or do you decide based on urgency? This idea of comparing importance versus urgency actually goes way back to Dwight D. Eisenhower, an American general and president for a term. Now, he was quoted saying that things that are important are seldom urgent and things that are urgent are seldom important. This was popularized by Stephen Covey in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, where he showed a matrix of importance versus urgency. So the important thing to know with this matrix is that you can categorize different tasks and the decisions that you have to make for those tasks um, into those different quadrants. Now, the most significant one would be the important and the urgent tasks. And those are the things that you need to do now and they're the things that matter in the long run. Then the, on the other corner is the things that are neither important, neither urgent. So those are, are menial tasks that uh, shouldn't even be on your radar that you should consider. Then there's the important tasks which aren't urgent. So this would be the long-term projects, the learning a language, the plans to travel the world, things like that. Then there's a quadrant of the urgent things that aren't important. So these are things like doing your laundry if you just run out of clothing, or going to the bathroom if you really need to, or making food because you're hungry. These things are immediate, but they aren't important in the long run. They aren't meaningful, they don't contribute to a fulfilling lifestyle. So here's the important idea. What you should be doing is putting the important tasks primary to the urgent tasks. Urgency is secondary to importance. So I'm not saying that let's say if you have a biological drive to go eat food that you should ignore it. But what it should be is that urgency shouldn't be a variable in your decision making. One way to think about it is that everything should be urgent. You only live for how many years in your life? You really need to get going. You're going to die before you know it, right? You could die tomorrow. You need to do the things that are important now because who knows if you're going to ever get the chance to do it. You should feel urgency with everything. So that means if you need to eat, you should be eating because it's fueling your drive towards your goal. And if something's important, you better think about it as urgent because you could die any day. So in that sense, if everything's urgent, then it's kind of like nothing's urgent. Or at least it doesn't become a factor in your decision making. The idea is that people who are very successful make decisions based on whether or not things are important, not whether or not they're urgent. So urgency stops becoming a factor when importance becomes the only factor. All that matters is whether or not something's important, not whether or not it is urgent. So there's another interesting distinction you can make between uh, urgency and importance, and, and that is that urgency has this uh, immediate time element to it. It's like, I need to do it right now. This has to get done right now. I need to go do this thing. I need to handle that. And there's this, uh, there's this adrenaline-like rush to get something done that comes with urgent tasks. And when you're feeling that, it's really hard to like take a second, pause, and think more in the longer run. Now, tasks that are more important, they generally have a sense of longevity to it. It's, it's in the long term. It's a process. It's a skill building thing that can take a lot of time. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. That is associated, you could say, with things that are important, things that are grand, things that are meaningful. So with that mindset of urgency being this immediate thing, that's where we run into a bit of a problem. Because you might think, I need to do the urgent things now. I can do the important things later. But the problem is you only ever have now. What happens later on is you're thinking the same thing. Oh, I need to do these urgent things right now. I can do these important things tomorrow. But as we know, tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow's always in the future. So what happens is that people will project their important tasks, their important goals, their, their life-changing mission, their vision for the future. They keep it in the future. They project it into the future and it never comes to now. 
Now, one way of making this easier is to break down your important tasks. Often, it could be something that takes uh, a long time to build up towards some final goal of yours. But ideally, what you're doing is your important goal is laying brick by brick every day towards building the wall. They say that life is about the journey, not the outcome. Part of it is that if you're so fixated on this ideal future that it's, it just pushes it far away, you never get to it, right? But if you focus on laying the bricks and see those small steps towards your goal as being important, then what you do is that distant dream of the future becomes something tangible now, something that you can work towards now because you only have now to do the important things. An example that comes to mind to this is actually from the TV show Family Guy. Hey, a Twinkie! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Great to be thin. Yep. Peter's trying to get his son Chris to lose weight, so what he does is he ties a stick to his head or to a hat, and on the end of it there is a treat or like a hot dog or something. So what Chris does to try to get the hot dog is he starts running around the house with this hot dog dangling in front of him and he's running after it trying to get it and he keeps running and keeps running and I think uh, maybe it's Stewie or Brian who comments to Peter that you can't, he's not going to keep doing that eventually, eventually he'll figure out how to do it. Yeah, he finally figured out how to catch the Twinkie. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm turning you into poo! Now a lot of people, the way they think about their goals is kind of like Chris with his hot dog at the end of the stick. They keep it projected in the future. They keep it just that far distance away that it seems just within reach, but they don't let themselves get it. The idea is that chasing it further isn't going to help. Speeding up isn't going to help you get your hot dog. It's pushed too far away. What you need is a shift. In fact, a 90 degree shift in the way that you do things. Now, what Chris does to get the hot dog is pretty interesting. What he does uh, would be unintuitive to the person who's running after this hot dog. The first thing he does is he stops. What? He's trying to get this hot dog that's in front of him and he stops? That's right. So he stops and he lies down on the ground. And so of course when he lies down, the hot dog comes swinging to his face and he gets it right there, right then, by pausing. So you see what was required for him to accomplish his goal wasn't to just keep moving harder, to keep hit, hitting his goal, to keep going into the future, to see the thing on the horizon and run towards it. It's like chasing a sunset. It's like chasing a rainbow, trying to get your hot dog. What he had to do was transform the problem itself. It stopped becoming a chasing problem and it started becoming a present problem. He stopped chasing it. And then he allowed it to come to himself by stop moving. So in the importance versus urgent, you could understand there's a sense of urgency with chasing after this thing you're trying to get. But what comes with this mindset of focusing on what's important is this stillness, this calmness, this relaxation, this pause, this slowing down. And what happens when you do that is it becomes even easier to accomplish your goal. Who would have thought, right? You relinquish your need, your desperate desire to get the thing that you want to get, and then you actually get it. So what I hope to leave you with today is to understand that if you're stuck in the hamster wheel, if you find you're just working and working and working and you're, you're never getting anywhere, you feel like you aren't getting any closer to your goal, you're dissatisfied with what you're doing, you'd like to be uh, accomplishing these things, but it seems like you're just pushing it further into the future. Maybe you're inventing obstacles for yourself. Maybe there are just so many steps in the way that you're overwhelmed and you don't want to engage with it. So what I'd like to suggest is that if you shift your mindset away from thinking about things in terms of whether or not they're urgent, whether or not they're immediate, and think more in terms of what's important, what's significant, what will matter at the end of your life, and disregard the urgency of these tasks. So that really does mean if you have an exam tomorrow for something that isn't very important to you, but you have this two month long project that you haven't been working on very much is kind of on the back burner. That means that before your exam tomorrow, you better have spent time doing that project, that longer term thing that you're working on, despite the fact that you have an exam tomorrow. That's what it means. And the idea is that on average, in the long run, this shift in mindset will allow you to get what you're actually looking for. Please comment below something that is important to you, and please comment below something that is urgent to you 
that you're facing right now. And what I'd like you to do is commit to doing the thing that is important and disregarding the urgency of any of it. So thank you very much. Please subscribe, leave that comment below, like this video, do all that stuff. I'm Luke Greedy Cooper. Thank you very much.